Tonight's top EU stories from the unit website include The EU has already broken up Germany considers a Euro exit EU and US already falling out over agriculture Eurozone unemployment soars as North-South divide grows Plus, Cypriot bank bailout set to cost British taxpayers £38 million I'm Rick Timmis, and this is the Unit Nightly News. First, from our homepage. As capital controls arrive in Europe and our political kleptocrats in the dark towers of Strasbourg play smash the public's piggy banks, this article discusses the assured breakup of the Eurozone. Having implemented capital controls and staged a massive bank holiday to stop people from getting their money out of the country, so much for the concept of personal property, it's no longer your savings on deposit, it's the banks now, apparently. Germans are becoming increasingly hostile to the euro, with opposition centred in conservative states such as Bavaria, Hesse and Baden-Württemberg. It's hardly surprising, really. Many of the Germans that I know are firmly set against this bailout fiasco. They see these moves by Miss Merkel to shore up the terminal economies of Europe using the hard-earned wealth and diligent efforts of their countrymen as nothing short of treachery. And frankly, who could blame them? President Barack Obama, using Washington's grandest stage, the State of the Union speech, to announce negotiations with Europe aimed at creating the world's largest free trade agreement. Just weeks later, however, there are signs that the old agricultural disputes could be a deal killer. European Union leaders don't want the negotiations to include discussions on their restrictions on genetically modified crops and other regulations that keep US farm products out of Europe. This is going to be a gargantuan sticking point for any free trade deal between these two federal behemoths. As the Eurozone economic collapse accelerates, I sense that even the rhino-skinned hardline kleptocrats are grasping for their undergarments. This article is enough to scare the pants off even the bravest Europhile. Highlighting one figure alone, the unemployment rate for young people in Greece is running at a whopping 58.4%. This article digs more deeply into the details, but the bottom line is, Southern Europe looks like it's going to hell in a handcart. More on the Cypriot bank heist, uh, sorry, I mean bailout. This article looks at the cost to British taxpayers of underwriting losses incurred when the EU IMF banksters locked the vaults and started playing hide the euro with depositors' savings. This article details a payout of £38 million to cover the losses of expats and British citizens who had their savings pilfered, I mean levied, during the bailout crisis in Cyprus. Today in our video library, this video considers the impact to the people on the ground in Cyprus. But what now for the Euro? And what for the people and the economy of Cyprus? This video investigates. My name's Rick Timmis and you've been watching the Unit Nightly News. I'll see you soon. You can get lots more news stories and information on our website, theunit.com. You can get in touch with us there, and we particularly welcome your letters and points of view. You can follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter username is the EUnit. And remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all of our regular updates. You can join me and the rest of the team for interactive discussion and debate on Google Plus at any time. And if you're looking for a public speaker for your event, our public speakers are happy to come and discuss Britain's relationship with the EU in your area at no cost. If you would like to add interest and value to your group event, then get in touch with us via the Word section of our website. Join us in our live Question Time style online show, The Unit Interactive. Broadcast live on our website, theunit.com, and globally via thehangoutshow.com, Join our community on Google+, and you can be part of the wider public voice, united in freedom, liberty, and independence. <laughs>